Hey, good day everybody. Um, here today I'm going to give you an update about the combat system and how it's progressing. Uh, I've been currently focusing on the firearms and the firearms are were actually quite hard to grasp, especially since uh, apparently I need an inventory system uh, to manage it well. Because I can have two types of systems. I can have like a uh, Call of Duty system, uh, like FPS, just uh, your weapon, your generic ammo and just shooting. But also more like a slow paced um, uh, survival game type of setting where you need to uh, fight ammo, the ammo you need to uh, put into the am ammunition slot, etc, etc. So... What I've been developing right now is the latter one, um, but it's easy to adapt it eventually to just this fast paced shooter kind of thing. So don't worry about the complexity here. Uh, it's just uh, on the background uh, with the data table. In the lower left corner, you can see the um, selection to equip and equip. And if I scroll, scroll with my mouse, I can just scroll through different items of uh, uh, of the inventory system. Uh, I don't have an official inventory system for now, so uh, I will just scroll it through it. And you have some equipment slots besides it. Uh, then you have a player inventory. And on the right, you can see the current equipped ammo on the right. And on the left, the ammo that is actually in the weapon. And uh, later, for instance, when you have bow and arrow, you want to be able to switch ammo types. So to switch ammo types, um, <laughs> you need to have this ammunition slot. So uh, uh, I'm going to show you how this works. First, I'm just going to add some ammo to my inventory. You can see in the middle uh, that the ammo is increasing in the player inventory. And... <laughs> When I scroll to the 9mm and I equip it by pressing F for now, you can see I've equipped 120 bullets on the right in my ammunition slot. And now my 9mm uh, player inventory slot is now empty. So uh, the 9mm bullets are accepted into the pistol, so I'm going to equip the pistol. As you've seen, I have this uh, equip animation. There is a small equip sound uh, and if I select the same weapon again like the pistol it is in equipping uh, I can run around uh, including all the, uh, the animations I can crouch uh, I can aim uh, down sight and the camera zoom is not yet implemented but that's something uh, to be added in a later stage uh, I can press R for reload. There's no animation yet, but that will be something to be at later on. When pressing R, you can see it fills up to the max uh, magazine size for this uh, type of ammo, for this weapon, and that is 13. When I walk around, you can see, when I run around, you see that he holds the weapon in front of his body. So when I'm shooting, it will uh, 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 make sure to... Uh, uh, to put a weapon in front of him. So when he's not shooting anymore, uh, please also notice that uh, uh, he is also putting the weapon back uh, in front of his body again. And when you keep shooting, then it will uh, uh, make sure that he is keep aiming. No. Um, I've also <laughs> implemented a weapon spray, uh, weapon recoil. The recoil is not enabled right now, so I'm just going to show the weapon spray. Uh, here, when I'm trying to aim for this cross here, you can see that <laughs> the ammo is a bit, uh, the, uh, the, the, the traces are a bit spread. When <laughs> I crouch and when I aim uh, down sight, which is no effect yet uh, in uh, no official effect. Uh, uh, the bullets will be more centered than uh, the other one. The other one has more uh, a random spread in general. Uh, I also have a rifle, so let's equip that one. Uh, now I need to 
make sure to equip the rifle ammo so i'm doing that <laughs> and i'm also reloading the weapon so now I have 30 bullets into this weapon <laughs> and the rifle has three uh fire types it has uh, i think i can print it in the low upper left corner yeah <laughs> And now it's set to single shot, now it's set to burst shot, and now it's set to an automatic shot. Uh, so single, if i holding the mouse button, it will just fire once. When I set it to burst, uh, I've said uh, you can change the variables in the data table, but this time I, I've set it to three. So pressing once, it will fire three bullets straight away. And when setting it to automatic, I can just keep holding the button to uh, uh, to keep firing. Also, uh, these weapons have uh, different we weapon spreads. The rifle is more centered than the, uh, uh, than the than the pistol. But of course, I also have the shotgun implemented. So now I'm going to equip the buckshots. I'm going to equip the shotgun and. The shotgun will have uh, uh, a shotgun spread and it will also with one fire, it will fire uh, eight uh, traces in this case. Yeah, look at this. Bam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, here you can see the, the, the weapon spray logic very well. <laughs> when I'm not going to crouch down, I'm going to aim down sight. That's holding the right mouse button, but still there's no visual effect. It will have less spread. Look at this. <laughs> As you can see, uh, this one has way uh, is way more uh, uh, centered, and the spread is way less than uh, uh, the one without aiming down sight. Um, everything, of course, is fully replicated. I can shoot. I can uh, 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 fire. You have the the, the fire animation. Uh, like this it's 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 all fully replicated so that's nice so next up is the um the reloading animations uh, then the decals muscle flashes um impact uh, uh, sfx um and uh, probably a bit a small things like damage and etc and after that i think i can start with the melee uh, with a combo system with swords, shields, uh, uh, eventually bow and arrow, projectile spears, etc. So yeah, I hope you like this update. Uh, I'm quite happy with uh, the results already. I'm making great progress and uh, uh, I hope to see you soon. And if you have any questions, please uh, ask them below or join the Discord so we can, uh, we can chat and uh, catch up. Thank you very much.